Hello everyone and welcome back to Manor Lords. As we are approaching now autumn. We are in September. And autumn is the season of harvest, clothing and sowing crops recommended for maximum yield next summer. Berries start to disappear. Not very good, right? So we got 75 berries in stock right now. We have no berries anymore. So it's that's happening quickly though. Oh, wait a second. We do have no berries here anymore. What we could do is having the forager hut... Um, working on one of my other berry deposits. So this one here, right? So this one actually, yep, we can make it really big, this work area. And get 248 berries with that. So let's assign someone to that. And let's actually assign a second person to the forager hut so we can speed it up, right? We definitely want to have more berries for winter. Um, also, we are building up some fuel again. So 28 firewood we have now. As the woodcutter lodge is working relentlessly to prepare us for the uh, incoming winter. Um, the cool thing is here, the firewood cutter requires its own forest, right? So we are not consuming the existing logs that we have already. So I might need to move this building here then away at some point. We can actually relocate buildings. So this option is available now. I don't think it has been available before. Not all buildings can be relocated though, but a lot of them can, which I think is pretty cool because you can always make mistakes and just relocate those buildings then. The people still work and they're actually sowing the fields now. All right, sowing is in progress and the crop growth is then also in progress. Okay, interesting. Either they completely, oh no, sowing crops is recommended now. All right, so they've done this here and on this field, they're starting to plough now, as we can see, right? So it is progressing. Holy cow, this is working, a second field. So we will have two fields working for next year then. Um, what we can do next is, since we have the timber, right? We have a lot of timber, build an, another house at least. We want to expand a tiny bit, another burgage plot. Uh, let's have this one then behind those houses so we can make the connection here, I guess. Something like that. This is going to be a pretty big one. And then over there. And let's just have a look. There it is. This is another house then. And we can have then a road connection going next to this one. Right? Like this. And we can add then more houses. So this is probably going to be a, a whole block of, of houses here then. Well, this one also moves down a bit further. Another thing is, since we have the timber, we should work on our other buildings, right? So my houses have demands. Clothing and food will still take time. Uh, entertainment and faith we can do already. So faith it is. Going to church is important for these people. Or we have, because we don't have ale, right? So the tavern doesn't make that much sense. Give citizens of the region access to ale. And this one here grants access to faith. And I think this is more useful right now than a tavern that we can't fully use. Now, where could we have it though? As space is a bit of a problem. We have the well here. Unfortunately, I cannot move the well. So we'll probably need to destroy it and build us a second well somewhere else. Let's go ahead and have our church a bit central. And also close to a road connection, of course. I will probably stop this uh, construction here again because we can add the tavern then and the tavern does not require that much space. So we could add the tavern like this. That would be, a uh, would be good. Or we could also have it like this probably if we move the well just a tiny bit further up. Uh, it's still it's tricky. Let's still build a well here. But the, that has not priority. This one has priority. And with the highest priority, I built before others. What is the highest priority, though? Um, level 1. We could also have then a level 0 or level 2. So to me, 0 would be the highest priority. But I think level 2 takes the highest priority, while the well takes level 1. Let's just see what is built first. And of course, this church here will take a long time to construct. Oh, and we still have the burgage plot here. That is finishing right now. So this one here makes a new family then possible. Also, those fences merge. Actually, no, it's two fences, right? Two fences here now. Better make sure that no one crosses that border. So let's build two fences. And yeah, next burgage plot is finishing up now. Also, fieldwork is coming along fantastically. 
So as we can see, this one will be finished this season. And another field can be sowed then. And now, yeah, okay. They start with the church first. Priority 3, priority 1 is not the highest. And that church will take quite some time. I'm eager to see how they build it. Lots of people work on it. I'm glad to see that. Six people. Holy cow. And it still takes that long. And we got 18 people now, so... Oh, this one has not been finished, right? Because it's priority one. Ah, they moved over there. Yes, let's make it priority four. So now some of them will, will, will move down there again. Uh, we can also make this road here finished. Um, so that there's still like this. And then like this. Yep. And then we have a road here for another, another house then. That we could have around. Oh, this is going to look nice. Right? We can have two here, or we can have... We can even have three here. Interesting. I like this tile here, so this is going to look amazing once it's finished then, right? But let's finish this. There it is. Perfect. Next mortgage plot has been finished, so we probably will breach 20 people now soon. And now the church can take priority once again. Now we're walking, uh, working on the wall, as we can see. Coming together. Fields are ready for action, right? So we're just waiting now for the end of, of, of autumn. And look at that! I was waiting for this. The trees turn... With the next season. Beautiful. So there is a, a very significant change in landscape in autumn. Could have been the other way around, right? I'm a bit confused about the message in the water axis. We do have a well. That is connected. Everything should be fine here. And also that church is coming along. The wall has been finished. And I think they're working on the roof now. And of course on the floor as well then. It's, it's, it's a bit late, but let's try to have another field. Right, so we still have this corner area here. Oh, you need to have four points. We only have three points here. It's too steep. Ah, field work is not possible here. Too steep. Interesting. Perhaps we can make it less st steep. Still too steep. All right. All right, there's no field possible here, but I can do it, of course, behind it. As this is still all high fertility area, so we can make a field here, hopefully. Yes, this is possible. Another one. And let's add, let's start with barley here. Let's rotate them after an emmer and then flax. Right, so my field workers can do that because they're actually finished with those two. And as we can see, also, it's growing already. I hope winter doesn't disrupt it now. Very strange. Perhaps I, ha I needed to, to to go with something here. Why they're starting so early to to, to grow. Field-wise here we are fine. And this one will start now working then as well. And how's it coming along? Almost finished our church. And this will hopefully improve my, my approval rating. The tower is still missing up here.
There it's coming along. Oh, and the logging camp has no work area anymore. Is that right? We do have trees. Oh yes, we cut down everything in this area. It's regrowing again, but it's taking time. So we need to reassign the work area to another place. Make it here. Right, and the the woodcutters work here. And the church is finished. There it is. People can finally go pray for their lives. Another well has been finished. I think we're going to need two wells now. Because the message is gone again. We have enough water. And also another family moved in. We have 19 people now in. Kunz has joined a farmer. Hello Kunz. And welcome. Perfect. They already started working on that field too. And winter is coming. We get the message for that. It's October. Very close now to winter. I hope my my foragers are working. They're full of berries. And we also need to have someone in the granary working again as well to get the... And there's 20, 20 people we have to get the, the food in, right? To the granary. Otherwise, we are going to lose it to spoilage. And let's hope that they're also working on that forage. I mean, it's pretty far away. He's transporting water to the forager hut at the moment. Let's add some more families so we have more workforce. Um, I think here we can have two, right? Yes, it's two. Oh, there's no road access then to this. It can only be one. But with a garden behind it. Let's add one here. Only costs me two anyway. And then probably also... Yeah, here. Oh, that's too steep again. That's the problem. When living on a hill, it gets steep. <laughs> Pretty inclined. But we have at least one more. And hopefully we have enough people getting us the berries or what. We get 48 food still left. The storage is filling up again with berries. That's also important. And firewood. We have also plenty. Plenty of firewood in. Perfect. Now we have two people working in the forager hut. And they're, as we can see, getting their food now from over here. But there's no berries anymore, unfortunately. So it's November now. The end of autumn is coming close. No berries anymore. On the map, we got 47 food. I hope this lasts us until spring. Because there's no other way of getting food in right now. We have enough en enough firewood for sure. Right, but unfortunately now, the forager hut will stop working. This guy's still gathering once more. Trying to get something. And at least another burgage plot is coming up and being finished. There it is. The more people can join. And already joined. Albrecht. Well, hello and welcome. <laughs> Transporting goods right now. Oh, isn't autumn beautiful? We also have the trees around us. And we, by the way, also can add someone to the firewood stalls. So firewood is being transported over to the market. And while there is autumn, let's quickly once again have a look around. It's a fine day after all, even though it's getting colder. And it really gets busy on the streets of my village. So one thing we can do is, um, because I'm not entirely sure about the whole winter thing and having crops out there, we can force 
an early harvest and there is already 144 grain in here right so we perhaps we get something out of it a present yield how much the resource will get you if you harvest oh no wait a second 23 that's nothing estimated harvest oh in 284 days we have this estimated harvest here right now we only have 23 um of of that okay that's not going to be worth it we don't have that many berries left anymore so we are we're looking at a, a very problematic winter but we were very unlucky really with having no uh, no game no animals here right we do have animals on in that territory we have one two three four four five five wild animals in my territory none <laughs> it's a bit of a problem to be honest Perhaps it all comes to a good ending, though, uh, still. We have the ox as well, right? Let's speed it up there a bit, because winter is really approaching now. I cannot do that much else anymore anyway. Approval rating is at 54, so it went up there a bit, thanks to the, the faith bonus getting added because of the church. And try building a hunting camp, a forage hut. None of that works, sorry. We have no game. And winter is approaching. December. Berry deposits vanish. Firewood is required for survival. Sheep shearing forbidden and chance of getting ill is increased. The firewood. We have plenty of firewood at least in store. So it's going to be warm. And by the way, also here my influence is growing, right? So it can be traded. Can be gained by giving taxes to the church, rising population, building new manors, and improving the development. 150 we have right now. I wonder what we can do with that. There is no option that I can see right now. Perhaps with the other territories. Right, so there is that. Claim it with influence. Oh, look at that. A thousand influence, and then we could claim another territory. This is probably what I should, should be doing once we have enough, enough of that. So the food stall has still 15 food in store. And my storage also has 6 more food in store. It's getting snowy. What happens with my field? Seems not to be hurt by it yet. And there it is. Winter in Old's Glory. A beautiful... We have a total animation of every season. People should really enjoy their last berries now, because we will be running out of them. But I think it will be fine, really, because then it's just January and February, and then we already get the the berries back. Of course, it's also the right season to walk around in my hiking boots once more. <laughs> just have a look around as it's getting colder out there. And now the food ran out. So what happens now? People still live. Let's build the tavern so that we see at least all the buildings that are in the demo, right? Because beside the tavern, we would have some industry still left over. Um, there you go. And we get the hungry sign as well. So peasants require food, otherwise they might die. But we're in February now, so I think we will not lose that many. No one died yet. And there it is, a tavern in all its glory. We could assign someone to this, but it, we do need ale first. It said that it, it would unlock the ale requirement then. I don't see it yet. Probably we'll need a brewery for this one. And as we can see, no one died yet. February is coming to an end and the snow is melting. 
And I will definitely put a lot of people on the forager hut immediately. So the berries should regrow now any second. The year is over, it is spring. At least we've survived so far. Two people died due to starvation, but the berries regrow now. Stay tuned. <laughs>